we're diving far deeper than regular scuba divers do. And as such, you know, we're getting to places no human being has ever visited. And we're finding things no scientist has ever seen. As a research coordinator, I don't necessarily do all the research myself, but I try to find appropriate scientists who can help us answer some of our management questions using the latest and best science. Papahanaumokuakea is one of the last great wild places left on Earth. It's like the African Serengeti or the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. It's one of the last big, completely wild, unexplored places left on Earth. We can use Papahanaumokuakea to see what our main Hawaiian islands, what our marine resources must have looked like a hundred or a thousand years ago. It helps us to set restoration goals because we know what this place used to look like, what it could look like again with better management. Because we have to recognize that this is the end of the line for the Hawaiian Islands. These are the oldest Hawaiian Islands, the Kupuna Islands. Beyond Midway, beyond Kure, there are no more Hawaiian Islands. This is it. This is the, our last chance. It's our best chance. It's our only chance to get it right. And I'm optimistic. In spite of all the reasons we have to be pessimistic, marine debris, climate change, all the things that are going wrong on this planet, I think we're doing something right with Papahanaumokuakea. Making Native Hawaiian culture a foundational element of how we manage this place, that drives our values, and that will drive the outcome of our management of this place. And I think with that as our underpinning, I really feel we're gonna succeed. I think one of the biggest successes for the Reserve Advisory Council has been to see that next generation of educated Hawaiians join the council. There aren't very many of us that actually are considered by Western standards scientists um, that are working to study the ocean through that Western, um, I guess, label. Through the mega labs, through the work that we do, we're really trying to shift that narrative. We're trying to shift the way that we interact with our communities and we talk about the ocean and we talk about conservation and we talk about climate change. And the ways in which we do that is we celebrate the whole self as a scientist. So we celebrate our students and the researchers, we celebrate them as being surfers, as being paddlers, as being artists, as being skateboarders. Um, right now we have two PhD students. Um, we have Kainalu Stewart, who is mapping how the islands at Lalo are recovering after Hurricane Molaka and Kylie Pasco, who's also a Nancy Foster scholar. Her work is dedicated entirely to Papanaumokuakea, as well as um, Hawaii Island, but she's looking at how the reef, how the reef is recovering from Hurricane Wolaka, as well as those reefs that were not impacted by the hurricane as well. So finding those reefs that were more resilient and to see the ways in which they're navigating, you know, really difficult conversations about how we jointly manage our resources, both from a natural and cultural perspective, because that's the way in which Papanaumokuakea was established, was culture and nature are equal, they are one. Being an educator, as well as being a kumuhula, yes, there are definitely distinct differences, but um, at its core, uh, it's about education. It's about sharing knowledge. It's about empowering our haumana with the knowledge of mo'olelo or our stories. There are many connections that you can make between hula or different Hawaiian arts and cultural practices and the ocean. I mean, obviously we are an island community and we are surrounded by the ocean. So the ocean is gonna be part of our everyday life, whether we realize it or not. The connection to the ocean through hula is a strong one, it's a necessary one, and it's one that we value and re we respect. We don't have adornments if we don't have our natural environment. We do not have mele if we don't have the ocean or the rains or the winds or our deities that represented them. We do not have hula if we don't have mele to express these different ideas or concepts. Kini pue.